Hello friends subscribers, what do you know about gravity? Gravity is a form of wave, electromagnetic wave actually, that matter exerts on the universe that causes the kinetic field effect or gravity. But when it comes to the gravifier thing, a lot of people, a lot of guys did their best to replicate Alexei's gravifier, for example, uh, Charlie Scroll 43, uh, who's actually Charlie C on YouTube, uh, Exotic Proportion, and other channels. But none of these guys ever achieved even a little bit of Alexei's gravifier effect of levitation. But the reason is simple. Suppose that I made a fire model, a real fire model, uh, just a little prototype. Uh, I made a little prototype for my own analysis and research. Uh, we actually know how hard it is uh, to achieve some of your own principles in science. We actually know it. Uh, people spend a lot of nights, a lot of days, a lot of time learning more about the science phenomenon. Then after finishing my models, I start selling them on Amazon, eBay, and other certain platforms. So how could you believe that the models I'm actually selling works 100% like the ones that I show you in my videos? So, I kind of believe this is the way a uh, method Alice Chikukov used to make a lot of money, a lot of income from his gravifiers. Actually, the ones he made that didn't work. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over a few analyses about this gravifier, how MHD principles was applied, and a few clips that will prove you that this gravifier was actually real. So this video is going to be a little bit longer and interesting. So stay focused and let's get started. When we talk about nature, we talk about conductivity. As well as we talk about the story of the greatest inventors, John Sear and John Chad, who also invented the fire models. John Robert Roy uh, once said that when the conductivity switches, the sig is proper by the surrounding here. So why did he say that? It means that the conductivity was the most important thing in the proportion of the sig. This is not a coincidence, because when you look back in the 1967, a man called James F. King Jr. got a patent uh, about the magnetohydrodynamic principles of his propulsion system. His principles were like this. If magnetic fields interact with electrically conductive fluids surrounding the craft, the upthrust force will appear in the desired dilation. This guy was not well known for his work uh, like Orsti Carr or John Sear, but his principles uh, were almost identical to Orsti Carr's principles and Alexis' principles. Their craft's propulsion system dependent on the conductivity of the air. Alexei Chekhov uploaded a video. Uh, that was the video about the gravifier uh, he uploaded four years ago. Uh, some of you guys liked it and others didn't. So, without wasting time, let's check this video. Uh, watch closely how he moves his hand in all side of the prototype. A lot of you guys still don't believe this gravifier was real. After watching this video, make sure you leave me a comment. Was this gravifier a real one or just a plank? So let's get into it.
So, we're gonna go over a few nerds here. Take notes if possible. I uploaded a video a few months ago. I was talking about the toroidal wheels, how they bend gravitational waves around the gravifier to cancel gravity pull. So today we're gonna go a little far from that topic. We actually know how the gravifier is powered. Positive on the upper disc and the negative on the lower disc. Our purpose is to make the surrounding air conductive so it can be affected by the magnetic field. Watch this. When you take a magnet and rub it fast on a, a copper or aluminium plate, you will directly feel the force that kind of feels like a, a repulsion force. I actually saw that in a video where a man throws a little new diamond magnet on a large copper plate and when he puts the video in a slow motion, he experienced that the neodymium didn't land directly on the plate. It rotated a little bit. This also applies to the gravifier, where the lower disc contains six magnets. When the magnets rotate around the stationary disc, I believe they produce a wave that directly affects the region which is actually powered. This means the more we charge the legion, the higher the effect of gravitation. But if you didn't know about this effect, go check out the magnetohydrodynamic principles where magnetic fields affect the charged particles. You will also find out uh, more experiments and ideas about this uh, phenomenon. You can also replicate this gravifier effect using electromagnets instead of permanent magnets. You will get the proportion because you first cancelled gravity pull and your craft will move upward by interacting the electromagnetic waves with the charged legion, which will provide the upthrust force.